Problem 19. In a tournament, there are six teams that play each other twice. Let's assume, right, before we even begin, that these teams are A, B, C, D, E, and F. A team wins three points for every win. So for every win, there's three. There's one point for a draw. So for a draw, there's one point. And for a loss, they get zero points. Now, after all the games have been played, it turns out that the top three teams are the same number of total points. So what does that mean? That means if we assume ABC here to be the top, the top most, the top three teams, the number of points is equal to A is equal to B is equal to C. And this is number of P, uh, number of points. So with this understanding, what is the greatest possible number of total points for each of the top three teams? So what that basically means is how many, po how much points did A get? And if we can determine how much points that A got, that's the same for B and C. And we want to maximize this total number of points. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, there are two special cases to consider. The first case, right, is where they play amongst each other, A, B, and C. The reason why this is important is because if we were to draw the cases, we have A, B, right, we got A, B, A, B, we got A, C, A, C, and then we got B, C, and B, C. The reason why that we must consider the case of ABC playing each other, like amongst themselves, separately from all other cases, is because when they play against each other, they are directly contributing to the number of losses and wins that each has. So we want to maximize the total number of points that each team has. They have to have the same number of wins in order to get the, or the same number of wins, losses, and draws in order to obtain the same number of points, right? Then we have to distribute that amongst the games that they play amongst each other. Now, obviously, we cannot have one team to win all the games. Let's assume A won everything. If we, if A won this, 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 then obviously there's going to be an imbalance for B and C because they will not earn as many points that A wins. And since they both got the same number of points, this cannot be the case. So this leads us to conclude that every team right, must have had at least one win and one loss. So let's assume that this is a win, right? Let's assume, um, so that's a win, and let's assume that this was a win for A, right? We're, we're doing this in regards to A. So this, actually, this would be a loss because they would lose this game, right? And then A would win this game, and then A would lose this game, lose this game, A would win this game, and then A would lose this game. What happens when we have this distribution? Well, A, right, would win twice, or A would lose twice. So lose twice, so that means plus zero. But then A, right, would also win twice. So for the number of wins, that's two times three to get six. Now, what about for team B? Well, for team B, if you look at the d distribution, we have the same distribution of points, right? Because we see that B, right, he B won two games, so because right here indicated with the wins, therefore B, right, for the number of losses or wins, the wins would get what? The wins would be the same, which is two times six, or two times three to get six. The losses would just be zero because you obviously don't win anything. So it's six and six, and then by process of elimination or symmetry, C would also have six points. So we notice that this is the only possible distribution of game wins in order to allow each team to have two wins and therefore have six points total distributed amongst themselves. So for now, each team has six points. But what about case two? Case two is where we consider the case of the games where A, B, and C, right, play against D, E, and F. Now we want to maximize the number of points. So therefore the total possible cases is A, D, A, D, A, E, A, E, A, F, and A, F. Now that means we want to maximize the number of points that each team played. So what are the other games possible for B? Well, B would have the same distribution. B, D, B, D. C would have the same. C, D, C, D. This would be C, E, C, E. This would be, uh, or rather, this would be B, E, B, E, right? This would be C, E, C, E, C, F, C, F, and then B, F, and B, F. Now, obviously, we have symmetry here. They all play six games against the three other teams. So therefore, if you want to maximize the number of wins, then all of them must be winners. So that means if A wins all the games, B must win all their games because we must have the same number of points for each. Therefore, C, for this case, must also have the same number of wins. So we have six games total, right? Six games total, each game that we win, we get three points. So we get 18 points per game. So therefore, this sums up all the cases. So 18 games, 18 points won from versing D, E, and F, and the six points won from versing amongst themselves will give us the final answer of 24. Therefore, your final answer will be answer choice C.